Hello and welcome today where I want to show you how to bring a vector map into PowerPoint without any problems or converting. I took it from the official Microsoft templates. Yes, you can of course take maps from other websites, like this is a, a website dedicated to vector maps, but the problem here is that those vector maps come in Adobe Illustrator format, EPS format, PDF format, so we always need to convert those for example with Cloud Convert and hope that it will work to SVG or to EMF in order to bring it into PowerPoint. But Microsoft has got us at least this time covered. We can go to their official templates website. We can press enter by entering the search term maps. We have a couple of maps here and those are specifically the ones that interest me. So I'm clicking on this map. I simply click on download and I'm happy that I have one more PowerPoint file on my computer. As you can see, I'm so happy that I've downloaded this map at least two times. And what is that? Actually, Microsoft provides us with a map and with pins on it to use them. But as you can see, we can delete the pins. Now, why cannot we click on this map? Because you can think about it, this map is a PowerPoint layout. As we right click layout, we can see the world map is here. But I will find you. To find it, you go to View, Slide Master, and inside of the Slide Master, one of those layouts will have the world map on it. As you can see, we found it, and what do we have here? A fully functioning, clickable vector world map ready in a PowerPoint file. We do not have to convert or download anything else. So I just take this map, I click on it, Control C to save this in my clipboard. I select a new slide. I will of course change the layout to a blank one. Control V. And as you can see, I brought a PowerPoint vector map right here into my slide. I can now take it for example, again, Control C and bring it to another presentation like here. Boom, Control V, I have this map here. Now, the very tiny downside of this map is if you right click group, ungroup, you have to do it twice because there is a bunch of groups here, group, ungroup. It happens that this map has two layers on it. For example, if you move a country, uh, you need to move it twice because like this map consists of two layers. But is it really a problem? It isn't because you can select any continent like Africa here, Control C, you can go to a new slide, Control V. Now I'll just Control G to group it. You can also select group, group. And I have this map as a vector here in PowerPoint. I can change the fill, I can change the outline, I can change everything, I can take countries apart as long as I do this twice. So as you can see, without any problems or hassle, I've brought a vector PowerPoint world map into my presentation. And I hope this little quick tip can help you in bringing a vector map into your PowerPoint presentations. Thank you for listening and see you in other tutorials like this.